Now that I've gotten <clears throat> both of the uh, holes cut for the servos, um, I don't have them mounted yet, but this might be a good time to uh, test your setup just to make sure that they're correct. One thing I forgot to mention earlier when you cut these out, you want your uh, servo to mirror the other side. What I mean by that is, is servos, uh, they, they work the ailerons. Um, when one goes up, the other one goes down and you want to make sure that your servos are in opposite directions and as you can see here the horn is to the outside of that wing the servo horn is to the outside of that wing if you had the horns on both sides the servos would both go in the same direction if you had a better radio uh, d depending on what kind of radio you have some of the better radios allow you to have uh, servo reverse um, but it just, it's uh, easier if you set it up so one side mirrors the other. I got it in. Let's turn it on real quick. And I'm using uh, the DX system. And let's just give it a test. Both are moving in uh, their opposite directions. And it looks like the uh, thermal arms clear the foam. So we're ready to go to the next step, which is... Um, uh, we're going to um, first we're going to cover the ailerons and then we're going to cover the wing and then mount the ailerons. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, uh, cover the ailerons with uh, a conical coat. And I went ahead and pre cut the pieces. This is uh, 4 inches by 11 and 7 eighths. The aileron is 12 inches long. And what we're going to do first is we're going to cover the ends with film. And then we'll go back and cover the uh, aileron itself with film. And then that way it's uh, completely sealed. And uh, there's a couple tricks. If you want to make the film a little bit longer, what I do is uh, find the bottom of your, uh, the bottom of your aileron the wind blows this way across the back of the aileron and you want to make sure when you overlap your film that you overlap it so when uh, the wind blows it won't catch up underneath the film so you want the film to wrap around and actually have the, uh, the piece come out underneath and facing out towards the back of the plane so once you, uh, what you want to do first tack it on the end take, bring your iron over the end like so and because there are so many different angles that you're working with here, you're going to have to make uh, uh, several different cuts. My first cut is uh, at the uh, trailing edge of the aileron. And I just cut, matching the angles of the uh, aileron itself. And then we'll take and we'll roll this side over first. Then this piece that's, uh, that you can see here that's hanging off, yeah. we'll take this, wrap it around like so, and we'll iron that into place. Then uh, the next piece will be the wrap piece that wraps around this way, then we'll go this way. So the first thing I will do is take and iron that piece around. Then I'll uh, pull this piece out of the way. Just want to make sure this is tacked up here. Take and uh, tack this around. Get that out of the way so you can see this. Take, tack that around. And then with the third piece, this will get tacked around like so. And what's nice about this is you don't have to be super critical as far as the wrinkles go because you're going to have this piece that will cover all this. This is just strictly to seal the ends of your ailerons. Get tacked on there. 
And it's just a matter of taking this and bringing this around. And that's it for the ends. Then you'll need to make uh, a couple cuts here and make one cut down the center like so and then uh, way out here on the edge I'll make another cut. Same way with this following the angle of the aileron and then again it's just a matter of tacking those three pieces down those four pieces tacking them down and if you don't like that much material hanging off of it take and cut at the angle of your uh, back bevel that you made one thing I do like about using a regular iron is that it can sit here and I can use it in the upright position to do corners and stuff that I don't really need to lay the iron down on it. And that's it for the end. And now we'll do this end and then I'll show you how to wrap it. I went ahead and uh, tacked the film on and we're going to go ahead and cover this one thing you want to do is make sure that you have your piece centered on the aileron because as you start to wrap it if it's not centered then it'll come over to one edge or the other remember your aileron is only 12 inches long and I cut the film to uh, 11 and 7 eighths so it gives you a sixteenth of an inch to play with on either side and I'm going to try something a little different this time usually I wrap it around and uh, wrap it around and have a little bit of overlay. This time I'm going to start the seam where the hinges are on the aileron and I'm going to bring it around and when I'm done it'll be tacked at that point again and there won't be any overlay. So after you tack it right along your line here, make sure it's centered, then you just take your iron and uh, just start working over the uh, over the uh, hump there, over where the uh, the angle is. If you get places like here, I went ahead and already got a little uh, crease in it. You just pull it back out. Take your time. Uh, the other thing is, don't change your iron setting at all throughout this. If you do one side and then you change your iron setting for something a little bit hotter, it'll shrink the material more and it'll actually warp your your aileron. You don't want it warped at all. If it does become warped, uh, you can get it out by reheating the surface and then twisting it in whatever direction it needs to be unwarped and that'll take it out. Also, as you're heating this, you'll notice that the material will want to will, will warp, but as it cools it'll straighten back out. That's just the uh, the foam expanding and contracting. Um, when you're done, it, it should be, if you don't play with the, the heat at all, it, it should be fairly straight. So I'll go ahead and I'll start, uh, I'll start putting, this, putting this on here. I like uh, working from the center out. That way I can work out the wrinkles to one side or the other. I find that if I start on one side and work my way to the other, if I'm off a little bit or I have excess material for some reason, it's much harder to get out. If I take my time, go in one direction and then the other, it seems to uh, all work out in the end. It's, uh, it, seems to, it seems to come out a lot more balanced. Each aileron, by the time you cut the material, and do the ends and such. Should take you about 10 minutes an aileron. And then uh, after we're done with this, then we'll uh, start uh, covering the wing.